Today we are going to be understanding what time and velocity does. So it's simple. Let me start off with a small little graph. Well, I'm not using that big scientific rulers because we can keep doing it with this. Uh, it does not matter for us. So we have a simple graph here. We have a graph system, not graph to be exact. So let me show you what this means or what this understands. So for example, we have small little lines here. Let me draw that on this graph. This can be more refined with if you are using more technical stuff and if you are using more educational stuff like pencil and pens and pages as I am drawing it on a board it is not as comfortable and as glorious as you think it is but it's just a simple theory and let me just explain it with what I have and I am no scientist and I am no genius brain protege so I'm going to do what I can to make you people understand that. Well, this is actually purpose for my, well, not technically for this page or it's just a test run to see if we have some new equipment and if it works. So let me just really quickly do this. This is taking a bit of a while, so I'm really sorry for making you people wait. So let me just make you people understand on time and velocity real quick. So, well, I've not done the best job anybody could do on this thing, but I am doing what I can do for you people. So, for example, we do not need this ruler, ruler anymore. So, for example, we have one. This is zero minutes. Here we are going to have our time. If we do have, so we are going to have it here. One minute. Let me use a better mark. So this is going to be one minute for us. This is going to be two. This is going to be three. This is going to be four. This is going to be five. This is going to be six. You can go up to 10 minutes here. I'm not going to be judging. I'm not going to be saying anything. So we have velocity here or the speed that we are going. Elaborate this better. You could switch those places, but I'm just going to call it 0 meter, 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, and 5 meter. I could have gone with 6 meters, but I chose to go until 5. So, for example, if you're with a person and that person is coming up to you and is telling you, I'm going to run from you for two minutes on the speed of one meter per second. What's going to happen? How much speed is he? Or for example, he says that I'm going to spend, for example, if this is one kilometer, not one minute, sorry, if this is one, not one meter, if it is one kilometer and he says I'm going to run for five kilometers within 10 or within six minutes which is impossible, but if he is doing that, so let's understand how he's going to do that. So, for example, he says two kilometers with six minutes. So how is he going to do that? So for every single minute that we are going, he's going to have a little bit of more speed and more meters that he's crossing or the more kilometers that he's crossing. So for the first minute, he's going to be staying up right here. He's going to be staying up. For the second minute, he's going to be staying here. For the third minute, he's going to be staying here. For the fourth, he's going to be staying here. For the fifth, he's going to be staying here. And on the sixth, he's going to be reaching there. So now that is pretty simple. You may think to yourself. But now let me speed this thing up a little bit for you people more. So this is now very hard, actually. The easier version of this is that person tells you, I'm going to, give, I'm going to spend one meter, one minute. I'm going to run on a speed of one meter per minute. So you're going to go like this, then you're going to go like this, then you're going to go like this, then you're going to go like this. So what actually is happening here 
is what we understand of time and velocity. So here, first of all, we do not have any space. We are not going at any rate per second. So we are going to make a line like this. So he is going in blocks. So this is what we call velocity. This is what we call speed. This is how we calculate that how much a person is far from us. For example, if a person is standing here and that person is going at this speed. This was used in the old era. For example, if your enemies were coming on one kilometer per hour speed. So it would go like this. It would go as the same as this. So if they were if you were like four kilometers away from them, so it was going to take them four hours to reach to you. On what horsepower? That was up to them. But they have told you that they are going to spend one hour per kilometer. And they, you are four kilometers away from them. So they are going to spend four hours coming. Or if they say that we are going to spend four hours on per kilometer that we are going, we are going to spend one hour on per kilometer that we are going and we are going for four hours. So you're going to know that they are going to be spending four kilometers and they are going to a place that is four kilometers far away. But here comes the glitchy part. So let me make you understand here. Now this graph, this graph is a bit unsketchy. This isn't the same as the other one. This isn't the same. This one isn't blocky. It does not tell us that how it goes. It's not telling us properly. So what velocity here does is this and this would be equivalent. Well, not technically here as I'm not having that precision. But just think if this and this block was equivalent. Or if this block was going like this, let me make a clearer version of it. Let me make a better version so that you people can understand it as that was not very precise of mine. I'm going to just make a better version of it. I'm sorry for my blocks as they are not square, they are a bit triangle. But just think, if this was square, I'm going to describe this part of it, this specific block, this one, this one. If this was one square and we were cutting it in half as this line is going, so it means that they are coming at the speed of 0 0.5 kilometers per hour. They're going at this speed. Or are they going at 0 0.5 kilometers per 30 minutes? That is what speed and velocity are they going on. But if they are going speedier and if they are going on a faster rate than that, so in their second kilometer, which is going to round about take them a little bit longer, just think if this is also the half. Think if it is half. Again, it's wrong here, but think if it is a square and we have took a line that is straight. I'm going to make a graph currently. It is on your screen right now. This is what it will look if I make it correct and if it is made correct. So this is how it will look. Just think if this was square and this was half. So that means 30 minutes per 0 0.5 kilometers. So what about this block? It's also there. What will we do about that? It means that you add up one to it. So we are going to have 1 here plus 0 0.5 or we can have, we can call it half if you want to call it here. So 1 plus 0 0.5, that is how it goes. So from this line, we are going to be going onwards. This is wrong. As you know, I'm going to show the graph again. So as you people can see on the graph right now, on the graph, the line is going like this. So we have two blocks this time. So 1 power 2 and we are going to have a half. So that is what speed are they going on. This is how you calculate velocity and speed at the same time to measure the distance or the time a person is spending to go somewhere or to reach somewhere or to reach to you or to maybe your friend's house. And that was one way to understand how much time you're going to spend as in those eras there were no maps. So this was how people used to calculate well, not this graph because they were not smart enough, but they had their own finger using type of techniques. They used to make stairs to understand how much time a person's going to spend. So 
through that understanding we got the basics of what we now call velocity and speed that is what were the basics and then we got slowly progressing and understanding about minutes about minutes and those minute little kilometers that a person is spending now what if anybody tells you that he's spending for example like this much time he's spending this much he's not going up the all the way up there what if that happens in that era there was no such theory it i'm talking about a very old time i'm not talking about the albert einstein era i'm talking about a very old time before that when the concept of conquering was a thing at that era if anybody told you that i'm not going until this line i'm not going like this if somebody told you that no i'm not going here i'm just going to go like this so you're going to get confused that what about the small inch that this person is not going what about the small area that this person is leaving so you going to get confused but that was not the case as it was primary areas not primal as it that was quite advanced but not as advanced as albert einstein's era or not as advanced as our today's era so that was how the basic concept of velocity carried out and worked so that is all for today thanks so much for watching me and allah hafiz